All right, we're gonna have a little bit of a part two here. This is gonna be quick. Um, obviously, the Frank Conway Jr. videos have just resurfaced online, so now anyone can see them, and they're, they're obviously not going away, and they are um, on some levels you know, very sad that um, it's quite obvious that Frank Conway Jr. suffers from a mental illness, and a very serious one at that. Um, obviously, his colleagues have known about this for a while, at least eight years, and it's very unfortunate that many of them, you know, haven't acted upon it. But I think, I think the time has come that um, his family members and his colleagues in the House of Delegates, um, you know, ask him to resign. And if, if he doesn't resign, obviously they'll, they'll have to go through with the expulsion, which um, I, mean, I assume will be messier than a resignation. So um, specifically, his family members um, who are the whole public office are about to. Frank Conway Sr. is his father, who is the clerk of uh, the court in Baltimore City, and Belinda Conway is his sister, who will be the Register of Wills very soon. Um, they have all, in the past, both of them have campaigned, you know, um, for the people, for the health of the people, for the children. Um, this is their own relative, and if they, they care more about his own health and his, uh, just his well-being than they do about, you know, their last names being spread all over, you know, for political marketing purposes, um, they'll do the right thing and um, get their brother and son to, to resign his office for his own health. Um, for the good of, of the city, but mostly for the good of himself. I mean, um, they you, these they cannot honestly look you straight in the eye and tell you that their their brother and their their son um, is is healthy now. I mean, if they say that, then you know one has to question them. I mean, if they if seriously if they do not get their relative to resign, one has to really question the integrity. Uh, Belinda Conway and, and Frank Conway Sr. Um, Barbara Robinson is a person uh, in the House of Delegate, is a House of Delegate uh, representative for the 40th District of Baltimore, in, in also, and um, she has worked with him for eight years, and she should definitely speak to him. Um, there is something called the Mental Health Oversight Committee in the House of Delegates, and Peter A. Hammond. Who is actually represents Baltimore, and oh God, Nate, uh, Shirley Nathan Pulliam are both in the House of Delegates, and they are both on that committee. Obviously, if they are legitimate members of the Mental Health Oversight Committee, uh, they will do everything within their power to get uh, Frank Conway Jr. to resign his position or to uh, start the expulsion process. Um, if they claim if they're on this mental health oversight committee, anyone on this mental health oversight committee um, should not be on this uh, mental health oversight committee if they can't come to terms with the fact that Frank Conway is Frank Conway Jr. has a serious problem and should resign immediately. Thank you.